Okay, welcome back, uh, and uh, I believe this is going to be the last video before we go take it out for a maiden flight. Uh, in this video, I'm going to measure uh, with a watt meter the number of watts and the amperage and so forth uh, that the motor and the battery that I'm using draws. Okay. Um, before I do that, I like to weigh the airplane. So I've got a nice scale here that... Um, is accurate to within a half a gram and uh, and it goes up to you know many many pounds I don't know what the upper limit is so I'm going to turn this scale on and it is in um, ounces right now so I'll hold the airplane up on the scale and just sort of balance it there without adding any weight to it and that is a little over 11 ounces. Looks like 11.10 or 12, maybe 20 ounces. Um, so it's 11, 11, I'll just call it 11 ounces. Okay. And let me, wait a minute, let me see. Put that back on there. Let me change the units to grams. So that's about 320 grams. So 320 grams, 11 ounces is the uh, weight of the airplane, which is about the design um, for it. Uh, I don't know, I'll have to look it up on the website to see what they um, have for it, but uh, it's, a, it's in the range that I've uh, expected. Um, so now, what I'm going to use is a watt meter, okay? So this is a watt meter, okay? And if you add a battery to it, uh, I'm going to add this battery to it, okay, and you can see what it says, Astro Watt Meter, okay, and uh, that probably went by, but it's Astro Flight Inc., it's a watt meter, in the upper corner you got the amps, you got the volts, 8.3, which is a fully charged uh, two cell battery, the number of milliamp hours in this corner, and the number of watts in this corner, so you got uh, amps, volts, milliamp hours and watts. So it's going to measure all of those things, how many milliamp hours actually went through the unit and uh, so forth. But uh, so I got to hold the airplane down here. And I also got to turn the radio on. Let me turn the radio on first. Because you're going to have to run the battery. Now I got to hold the airplane down. <laughs> Lots of ways to do that. Just holding on to it sometimes isn't good enough because I like to be able to pick up stuff and look at it and so forth. So I've got a set of two and a half pound ankle weights, just ankle weights. So I'm going to put one ankle weight around this wheel, another ankle weight around the other wheel. And with two and a half pounds of weight, that airplane better not move. <laughs> Otherwise I got too big of a battery for it. Um, but now I got to make sure that the prop doesn't hit the ankle weight. If that's going to clear. Yeah, okay, so uh, the prop is going to clear the ankle weights. And um, so now I'm going to use um, this has a, a um, Dean's plug on the end of it, and the battery I'm using is a 2S uh, 30C battery, uh, but it's 1300 rather than the 800 that I have on the airplane. I actually use this to fly it as well if I run out of 800s, uh, but uh, I'm going to use it because this has a Dean's plug and so does this battery, and I have a, a conversion wire here somewhere. Here we go. Tangle up in the ankle weight. Okay. Sure, the prop isn't going to hit the ankle weight. That looks good. So I've got a, a wire here that converts the JST plug to to a Dean's, and I can plug this in now because the radio is on. Well, okay. No, nope, can't do that. 
I'm on the wrong model. Let me change over to model number FT Flyer 3. Okay, now there we go. Now we can plug it in. Make sure the prop isn't going to hit anything. That's good. And here we go. Try it again. Plug, what are you doing? Let me... There we go. Okay, there's my two beeps saying I'm ready to go. So I'm gonna flip the um, the um, throttle cut off. Normal mode. Throttle cut. Normal mode. Okay. And uh, we'll just test the prop, make sure everything's working okay. Okay. So now I'm going to hold the watt meter while I run up the power here. So that's about 25%, uh, 0.8 amps, 6 watts, 50%. So 50% power is 6 amps, 46 watts. And now I'm going to go to 100%. That's uh, 9 amps, 67 watts. So 9 amps is good because we're using a, um, I guess we're using a 12 amp uh, ESC. So 9 amps is fine. Now we could probably get a little bit more out of the out of a different prop, but I want to use this prop. So um, that's a sufficient amount of uh, amps and watts to fly this airplane. And um, uh, so I'm going to try it one more time. It may not read quite as much because we've already run the battery down a little bit, but we'll try it again. Okay, so here we go. 50% uh, three amps, 27 watts, all the way up. Still nine and a half amps, uh, 70 watts, 69 watts. So. Uh, So um, this setup will probably fly a little bit slower. We could try different props, but I haven't flown the aircraft with this particular prop before, and so we'll see how it works. Okay, so that's how you use a watt meter and measure the uh, airplane, uh, both uh, for the weight and the watts and the milliamp hours and the amps. Okay, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next video, which should be the maiden flight.